Hello everyone, my name is Dave Pata and welcome to your first tutorial on Cake PHP 3.4. In the past tutorial, I've handled other versions of Cake PHP. Like if you go to my channel, my channel is on youtube.com slash c slash brain tem org, just brain t e m o r g. If you go to my YouTube channel, pan to the right and hit on this button so to subscribe. You will see a, a cake PHP tutorial I've done in the past. Um, you can take it too. Very, it's very nice, but not complete. Stops at video ten. And this is a newer, a slightly newer version of cake PHP because this was three point one, and I'm going to do this tutorial for three point four and um, onwards. Okay. So what you're going to do is. Uh, in case this is your first time of knowing of using PHP or hearing about Cake PHP at all, this is a framework built on top of PHP, just like Laravel, just like um, Code Igniter, uh, Symfony, um, Yi, and many of them. This framework was built on top of PHP, and by far, by far, 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 it is the best framework I've used. I've used many of those frameworks I just mentioned. This. Is the most powerful and the best framework if you want to get things done fast and on time like in lightning speed this is the framework it favors convention over configuration which means if you just understand how to name things for instance how to name your views your your controllers your models then you're good to go every other thing plugs in you never really have to do much things in the routing and a whole lot of code coding hours it saves you this is really 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 a powerful framework all right and it's quite easy to learn so let us kick in straight up and uh, what you do is visit cakephp.org and um, I'll just teach you how to navigate this current website first of all the documentation is in a book that you can access as a PDF file so if I should right click on this book I'll open it then there are videos of conferences and a whole lot of things but um, generally this is really what you need then occasionally while coding you might make reference to the APIs so I just want to run you through the book right here what you have is the book has opened so um, what you have is a complete menu of things of topics in this book and then there's a you can download this book and keep it on your system in case you prefer um, keeping it on your system so you have um, PDF you have PDF, you have EPUB and the original source and um, if you pan to the right, in case you find any problem in this documentation, what you can do is pan to the right and then hit on this um, to improve this talk. It takes you to GitHub for this documentation and then you can edit what you want to edit. It's really, really interesting. All right. And um, like I was saying, you move pan to the right, left. You will see a list of folders if you if you're coming from kick php 2 which many people know you should check this migration guide on how to move to three then if this is your first time of um, using kick php make sure you go through these um, tutorials and examples it's it shows you how to put you through how to build a sample application and then gives you an understanding of the power of kick php all right, I'll run you through some tutorials here, and then at the end of this, I believe you should be able to build very powerful and advanced websites. You can build job websites, accounting, banking websites, and a whole lot much, much faster than you will do in any framework. Believe me, any framework. All right, the first thing we'll we'll do is to install Cake PHP. As you can see, there are, um, if you go to the installation section. If you hit on this installation, you will see that there are um, a sort of a number of requirements you need. For instance, um, you need PHP 5.6 or above. Uh, it accepts PHP 7.1. You need your MB string to be open, and you need your international extensions to be enabled. So um, don't worry about this. You need Apache to mode right and stuff. So what you will do is to head over to wampserver.org, assume in. Uh, WAM server. I am assuming that you know how to use WAM server because um, to learn kick PHP, the requirement is that you must have known how to write PHP at least to a reasonable extent. 
you should know you should be fairly comfortable with php so i assume that you know what one server is apart from one server you can use xamp or whatever server you are using so this is one server you just hit on um, english version and then you hit on download this is the english version you just hit on the download it takes you to this section uh, you download the one for your system this could be 64 bits or text so many 64 I'll just hit on this and download after downloading you install after installing then you start it you go to your your you move to your command uh, section here your start start panel here then you type one that is how to start one server then you click on this once and then it starts when it starts you notice that nothing happens but then you if you get to your your bar here you can see your one my one icon is up and running and it's green if yours is not green then you have an issue you have a problem and the, when you're starting it it starts with red color then yellow color then gradually it becomes green but if you wait for some time yours is not green then you have a problem so let's say you already have this installed so we have to get back to the installation section and cross check that things are happening so we check the app Apache, make sure that you have Apache module, right? Apache is installed and uh, we're going to check the modules. We're going to look for rewrite model. So we'll go through all this, make sure that there's a good tip on rewrite model. We are going to scroll down. I'm clicking on this tiny arrow here and uh, we are basically looking for PQR rewrite module as you can see mine is already checked so you click yours if you click it once your server will restart so you wait for it so this icon here this little green icon will turn to blue will turn to red and then yellow and back to blue once it turns to blue we'll check for the next thing which is uh, make sure that we're using PHP 5.6 or greater I'll prefer to use PHP 7 so if you come to PHP and uh, you come to version you see that i have 5.6.1 but then i am using 7 because um, you are seeing this little um, check here then we're going to check for the next thing which is whether mb string is enabled in php so we'll go to php extensions then we'll look for php underscore mb mb string mine is enabled so hit yours once once you click it your server will restart so you wait for your server to restart then you check for the next one which is international extension so we we'll get to php extensions then we'll see international mine is enabled and then once you have this set up we are good to go you restart your server and everything is good to go all right so if you are online if you are hosting it you can take this um, step to enable it in, enable it in your hosting server php.ini Alright, make sure that your MySQL, I'm using MySQL, make sure that your version is above 5.1. So I come here and check my SQL and version is 5.7. So make sure that your own version is above 5.1. You can use these other data bases if you're comfortable with them. Alright, then we're good to go. First of all, um, we already know our version of PHP, but if you would come to this place and type node, of cmd depending on what you use CMD. And hit this um you can type phpv and hit enter it shows you the version of php that is running mine is 7.0 and i'm very comfortable with that all right the next thing we're going to check is we have to install composer if you're using windows like me you just hit on this um get go to a url called getcomposer.org so I'm going to open it. The URL is get composer here. Yeah. Getcomposer.org. Or you simply keep click on this link. When you get to getcomposer.org, you click on download. You download composer, install it. As a Windows user, you just hit on this, download it, and install. Once you install it in your system, you are good to go. You don't even need to set all of these other things. Once composer is installed, make sure you restart if this guy was open you have to close it and start it all over again to test your composer or sometimes you may even need to restart your system for your composer to start working and then once we have composer set up um, all these other settings are not necessary unless you are using linux 
or Mac, then you can follow it. Then once we have it set up, our composer installed, we can create a new cake PHP app by running this particular command. Generally, I would um, I like to have all my applications. I'm going to stop this. I like to have all my applications in in this folder in C, WAMP is for www because that is where your WAMP application is. This www directory, if I click on it, you will see that that's where my um, root folder is. If you are using XAMPP, you, you, it should be htdocs. So I have this guy. This is the guy I'm using here. So um, normally, if you open yours, if you hit enter, if you open yours, you can just say cd to this guy. If yours is not six four, make sure make sure that yours is six four. If yours is not six four, and uh, then you have to uh, navigate to what yours is. All right. Now we're good to go with that. We're going to install Kick PHP. All right. So we we'll copy this. Right click, copy, and then we get back to our command prompt. And I'll right click to paste it. If you right click on your command prompt, it pastes um, your node command prompt. So I'm going to delete, I'm going to remove this part self update. I don't want my composer to self update. So, composer create project preferred distribution. Uh, so, this is the name of the application you want. So, I'm going to name mine. Uh, Cake tooth or cake blog or whatever let's call it cake uh, blog okay so we have a cake blog that we're going to that's the name of the folder and there's going to be inside the window so i hit enter make sure your internet is connected and then you wait you have to make sure your your internet is up and running so this will take some time let me see two to five minutes time depending on the speed of your internet once it's done, then we move over to the next thing. All right. So that's how to install your Kick uh, PHP. As you can see, it's very simple and straightforward. I believe this is the most tasking thing you will ever have to do in Kick PHP. The rest of Kick PHP is very, very easy. There are a whole lot of things you can read here about permissions. Make sure that your TMP file. I will show you in the next video tutorial of how to go through your your file directory and explain what the file different files are in the file directory so by the time we open the next tutorial this uh, application must have been downloaded installed and set up see you in the next video tutorial